<laughs> Alright, what's up guys? It's Sam and it's really early in the morning, it's about 10 and it's like during the winter so it does feel a lot earlier, around 7 maybe and dude, it's really really cold <laughs> um, I'm not wearing a jacket or anything although I probably should be <laughs> but yeah, um, so judging by uh, this picture on the screen you guys are wondering what the heck is it? <laughs> and um I was looking through through my subscription box on YouTube and I saw this. Um, I know a bunch of people put it out, so I don't know who found it first. <clears throat> uh, like, cause there's been Timor and all these other guys who have uh, posted it, but I've seen it on Timor and that's where I remember seeing it. But that's besides the point. So <laughs> uh, here you got your new map pack basically which is coming out I I'm pretty sure this is real I mean this could easily be photoshopped I mean it would take some time to photoshop this but dude guys can photoshop like crazy this is a really nice one though and uh, you know it looks like it's actually on a TV but you could always uh, you know distort the photo to make it look like it's on a TV put the TV stand on the background and everything so I don't know but it does seem legit so these are gonna be the new maps in multiplayer there's gonna be grind which uh, looks like a ski park that looks pretty cool and hydro which uh, reminds me a lot of this MW2 map that we used to play on um, it wasn't a map in multiplayer it was actually in wasteland oh no it was in COD 4 one of the missions in COD 4 it was it kind of had that building ish. And in Modern Warfare 2, if you went outside of Wasteland with a glitch, then you could run and you could find a building that looks sort of like this. I'm not, you know, it's not the same thing, but it looks sort of like it. <clears throat> and then there's Downhill, which looks to be kind of like a summit in Black Ops 1 and in Modern Warfare 3 Outpost. So, you know, you got that snowy map in because. You know, you just gotta add snowy maps. <laughs> and Mirage actually looks like um that <sighs> World at War map. I don't remember what it was called. I, I've never played these games in a long time, and I hardly played World at War, so I did like it though. But yeah, that's besides the point. <laughs> and uh, you know, you see, it's kind of like a temple in the back, just like that World at War map. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be taking place in. Um, Know, temple setting kind of like Shangri-La maybe you know maybe the ground with bricks like Shangri-La or something like that I'm not exactly sure uh, and at this point no one is but we're all just throwing out our own theories and our own ideas and then in this middle picture you have this one called die rise maybe you know a little play on words of Darice which a lot of people did like but also, you know, play on words on itself because die means fall and rise is live. So, you know, die live or fall rise, but whatever. <laughs> uh, it's the zombie map and it looks pretty cool. Um, it looks like it's going to be in maybe a more modern type of setting with a bunch of houses and stuff. Like more like a city-ish kind of thing and I I wonder if this this map is going to be somehow related with uh, you know the Easter egg with transit because we haven't been able to get anywhere with the Easter egg on transit so far at this point in time I mean there's a bunch of theories and everything but nothing really solid and nothing is, you know, that some people have done this and some people have done that, but not everyone has been able to actually do it. Like, especially, I've been watching a lot of NGT Zombies, and yeah, <clears throat> Spider Bite is really stuck. And finally, uh, trying to wrap this up here, there's this gun, Peacemaker SMG. It's a bonus gun. <clears throat> and so, I don't know if it's going to be in Zombies or Multiplayer or both. But um, if it is a multiplayer, 
I was watching t video on this and he said he didn't really know how how it would work out you know because some people would have the gun in multiplayer and some wouldn't and you'd be able to pick it up uh, even though you don't have the multiplayer pack and stuff like that but the thing that I think um, is going to happen is like in I'm pretty sure in Battlefield I forget but there's like gun packs and so when you buy it you get like a new kit or you get new guns in that one kit and you are oh, I forget I think they match you up with other players though like that actually bought it you know how they make a playlist where you have um, how you have a playlist with you know the nuketown and no one else that didn't have the nuketown code can actually play in it and no one else with this with this uh, revolution map pack will be able to play with you because they will get kicked i mean they will be able to be in the lobby but you know once the game starts they'll get kicked and i don't know there's there might be a lot of issues but definitely if it is in zombies we will all be able to use it because they're not going to leave it out for everyone or actually no the they're just gonna put it in and if you did not buy the map pack you're not gonna have the zombies map the new one and the peacemaker smg is going to be in there so yeah you're not gonna be able to actually use it so i recommend actually maybe getting the leap or if not maybe just getting this but i have a feeling they're going to be coming out with a lot of new cool maps and a lot of SM, um, not a SMGs, but they're gonna be coming out with a lot of new guns. And hopefully, the next one is a pistol. <laughs> because I love pistols, but I mean, I really doubt it's gonna actually come out with a pistol. More likely, along the lines of an assault rifle or maybe even an LMG. So, we will all look forward to that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm Simple Sam, and I'm simply out.